Hi guys and welcome back to Fallout 76. After finishing up Initiate of Mysteries and listening to the holotape attached, we're assigned the next mission which is Novice of Mysteries. Quite a bit to it, we're going to start off with Forging a Legend. So Forging a Legend, we need to head up here to acquire a historic sword. Let's do that. So when you're up there, you just follow the marker. There's quite a few quests up around here, some great ones with some good story, but for the purposes of this video only, I'm just going to head in here and show you this. If you want to see the actual playthrough of this area, the card is up on the top right of your screen now. You can check it out. So if you head upstairs into the bathroom, you'll actually see that there's a cottage password on the body or beside the body in the shower. It's also a stealth boy. Quite handy. So what you want to do is you want to grab that and you want to head back down to where the historic sword is locked into the case and to the right hand side of it there is a terminal you really 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 want that terminal the password you just picked up will allow you access to the terminal or at least full access to the terminal and you need full access to open up the case so that's what i'm going to force my character to do now there's actually a second one over here so there you go you can come in the front door turn to the right and there's one there as well i completely forgotten about that one so, access the terminal, and use the, not the remote door access, the case. Open the case. Clear as day, grab the sword. But having the sword is not enough. We're just waiting for the quest to move on. We're still watching Forging a Legend. We need to attach the swing analyzer. To do that, you need to go to a workbench, a weapons workbench. When you're at the weapons workbench, it's nice and simple. Just uh, select the saber and attach the swing analyzer. Won't cost you any resources at all. Then you're done. So once you've done that, a new part of forging the legend um, is started. You need to kill six different types of creatures with the saber. To see my video on all six, check out the card in the right hand side of the screen now. So pushing on with that out of the way, as it is, we're gonna come up here instead because we've still got quite a bit to do. And what we want to take on now is we want to locate the EMP research. So that is the prototypical problems. It's very tiny writing on my screen, but I believe this is the prototypical problems quest. So locate the EMC research. Oh, wow. Locate the EMP. What's an EMC? What am I talking about? So yeah, we head up here. There's a lot of robots around, but there's nothing to worry about. I... I do this game in uh, solo mode I had no sweat at all getting through here kept my distance picked off what I could headed inside and just shot everything else point blank with my shotgun quite an expansive area to um, to explore quite a lot there if you want to see my playthrough of this area check out the card at the top right of the screen now, where you'll see I go around I found a, a lovely key card to some house elevated on stilts just north of this location or I'm thinking of a different location, perhaps. Anyway, check out the playthrough in the top right and find out for yourself. Anyway, in the building we go, you gotta disable the the security. That's these bad boys. As I said, there's not too much to it. Now, of course, it, there is a marker on the screen as to where you're going, but instead, ignore it. So when you come in here, instead of going straight to those turrets, head to the right as I just did. So you're not following the marker straight away because although the marker leads you to the correct computer terminal, you're missing a vital piece of the puzzle, which is a, a type of holotape that we need to locate. Absolutely no good going in without the holotape. In fact, if you do, because it's the first mistake I had made, there's a load of blank holotapes around to allow you to write the data to them, but um, none of them work. So you need to go in here, you need to access, I think it's uh, Project Siphon? Yeah. But not this one. I'm just reading the logs for the sake of reading the logs because I like to immerse myself in the story that is Fallout. And then I like to click things twice. Absolutely no reason whatsoever. Go down to Project Siphon. Right. <laughs> I'll leave you read that in your own leisure. So, all the way down to the bottom one. Jump 
of the line. Again, if you want to read it, I'll let you read it at your own leisure. So once you go to Project Siphon, finally, you can dispense Project Siphon holotape. That's the holotape you're going to need when you get to the objective marker. So let's go to the objective marker now. Here we are. So it's the computer there on our left. You see there's loads of blank holotapes thrown around. Unfortunately, they're from a bad, cheap batch of holotapes, so they don't do much. You need to hit the square button if you're on PS4 or whatever your, or whatever your uh, button is and load in the holotape. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where? I always skip it. And work my way up. That's kind of how I do things. I always go to the bottom and work my way up. I, I don't know why I think they're in chronological order. And once you load in that tape, you can download the data. And there we go. We've, we've pretty much sorted prototypical problems there. And we need to bring this data back to the fabricator. But I'm not going to do that just yet. Because there's still one part of the puzzle we need to do. Chasing shadows. So we need to locate the gas. Uh, some kind of hallucinogen or hallucinogenic gas. I guess that's what it stands for. And that's all the way down here. Ah, there are the houses I was thinking of that are on stilts. This is where you get the card from. Just north. See that house on stilts there? That's what I'm going to call it, a house on stilts. There's a key card you can get to actually access that. Um, just check the card up in the right for my playthrough of this area for chasing shadows and that whole thing. If you want to see what exactly is in here and where I found what. Anyway, head inside. And once you're in there, head to the designated area that's on your marker and go to the computer terminal and open up this safe. And the gas is in there. Again, fighting your way in here. There's absolutely no problem to it at all. A few robots here and there met little to any resistance on the path directly here. I did, of course, go off exploring. And I'm happy I did because I found that key card for the house of stilts. That's what I'm calling it. Get over it. It's the house on stilts. So we now have all the requirements. We'll go back to... I say we have all the requirements because I've skipped forward. I didn't want to show me running around trying to kill six different creatures. Uh, again, that's up in the top right hand side of your screen if you want to see what creatures those are. Um, so you head back to the back cave, as I call it. And we're going to hand in all three, one by one. Fantastic. So let's do the phantom device first. We dispense the hallucinogen gas. It takes the stealth boy as well, as that was a requirement. That should, there we go, Novice of Mysteries, and that section is now complete. Doop, 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 doop. Just back out of this, and there we go, Chasing Shadows, done and dusted. So what do you get for Chasing Shadows? Well, I don't know if everyone gets the same thing, but here's what I got. Nothing. <laughs> uh, right away that was diluted, some .308 rounds, and a Phantom device. So... Oh, there we go. And I leveled up too. Go me. Frederick Rivers, production log number one nine four. Yeah, I just Two found that there. Jan and I finally got the new so, my curiosity was, what is a phantom device? Ago. So I checked. Is it something I can wear? No. Is it a weapon? No. It's actually an aid item. It took me a while to figure that out. You'll find it under aid, I believe. And it's some kind of device, kind of like a stealth boy, I think. Uh, make sure you turn invisible. Nasty Past it there. Really Keep passing the damn thing. In retrospect, I should have known where it was. Um, I was just scrolling up and down, and <laughs> forgetting the fact that this is all in alphabetical order. Dirty G. Ah, well. Not to worry. So, I've completely missed it. I'll go back and forward. Uh, that tape, that hollow tape is there. I know I'm speaking over it, but fear not. I'd rather you guys listen to it yourself in your own time. It's there if you want to. I, at this point in the game, I still have absolutely no clue what this phantom device is because I've forgotten that everything's in alphabetical order. So I push on. Or not. Luckily, I don't have too much in terms of stuff I can put on. I don't have too much weapon. But it was kind of killing me. 
Really, really killing me. What? I know I got a phantom device. What the hell is the phantom device? And then I came across it. Uh, frenzies nearby creatures and renders you almost completely invisible. So that's got to be interesting to test out at some point. It doesn't have a level requirement either, so it's something I could potentially test out soon. Next time I get on Fallout, most likely. Let's do the next one. Let's do the blade. Knock the blade. blade. Oh, there we go. So, we get the uh, blade, some radex, and two fusion cells. And the quest completes, forging a legend. So that was a fun one to do. I'd completely forgotten about it. I was, uh, I'd finished up the first two, and as you've seen, I was still three out of six, so I had to go and find the other three. It took me a while because I did not know what I was looking for. Luckily, you will not have that problem. So here it is. It's a level 25 sword. Damage is 48, and speed is medium. Weighs only three. Not a bad uh, find at all. Not something I can currently use, however. So let's do that once more, and this time we're going to go voice of Seth. Now, it took me a minute to realize what was going wrong here. What I actually need to do here is I need to load the hollow tape from that last place I was at into the fabricator, which is what the damn quest says, upload the data into the fabricator. It took me a second to realize what was going on. It's like, I have two out of three. I know I did everything. And it's when I actually settled down and looked at the mission and read it properly, I was like, ah, yeah, that's what I'm supposed to be doing, isn't it? I'm supposed to be loading the hollow tape. So we're going to load the hollow tape into the damn fabricator, the automated fabrication system. This time I started from the top. So naturally it's going to be towards the bottom. When I start in the bottom, it's usually towards the top. There it is. So then you just select upload data and away it goes. Prototypical problems now completed. So we back out to sort that out. And we use the fabricator to make the voice of set. All right, there we go. So we get the voice of set. We get some ammo, some more ammo, and some purified water. At least that's what I get. Prototypical problems is now complete, which should complete Novice of Mysteries. Boom. So, what is voice of set, you ask? It's a great question. Voice of set is, um, voice offset is some type of a weapon that causes electronic damage, again, outside of my current level. So, Novice of Mysteries then goes on to say we need to log in to claim our promotion. I always have issues with this. I'm just checking it out again. It was a level 25, that's right. Can't use the blade. Can't use the weapon. Looking forward to trying out the weapon. So we log in. Only this time... Uh, we've now earned type or, or title Seeker of Mysteries, etc, etc. There it is. Sorry, there we go. So we've moved on. And we've completed Novice of Mysteries. Which took a while, didn't it? And we now move on to Seeker of Mysteries, which will be the next video I upload in this series. I hope you found this useful. If you liked the video, please do hit the like button and like the video. While a small action to you, it means the world to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.